thank you very much. Well, hello everyone, and thank you for being part of this amazing um, summit that started on Friday and it's closing today. Um, we've been, um, we had um, speakers from all over with different topics related to FinOps, and luckily today we have some uh, amazing presenters around HR. Um, I'm an advocate for HR, and if you don't know me, um, and you follow my social media, you will find out that I'm a cheerleader for this system because I love it since I started using it. So um, what I'm going to present today is um, like the like the fundamentals of HR. I want I know that there are lots of people out there that don't know how the solution works or what the solution actually is. So I, I'm going to go step back. Uh, from the latest presentation from Thomas and Moline, and I will share a bit about um, fundamentals around the solution. So we're going to discover what is it, um, yeah, how it looks like, uh, what it's used for, and some other stuff, interesting stuff. I think you'll you'll enjoy. So with all this introduction done, um, once again, I want to thank you all, and I want to, um, yeah say thank you to all the amazing speakers that are going to be presenting and already presented in this summit. So here's the, the first slide. We're going to go to the second one. Um, that's an old picture, but anyway, uh, but this is me. I'm Ana Inés Urrutia de Sousa. You can find me in every social media um, and, and follow my content if you want to. Um, well, I'm a 29 year old. I'm Uruguayan. Uh, I'm living right now in Uruguay, um, but I'm looking forward to move sometime soon uh, when all this situation ends, because it, it's it's kind of a hard situation right now without uh, flights and COVID. So yeah, I'm trying to look for for my next place to live. Um, I want to share a bit about my story, my background. Um, I've been working in HR since I started uh, working um, um, before ending my degree in psychology. I uh, started working in HR. I started um, knowing the pain points in HR. Uh, and I realized that in all my different experiences, uh, HR has the same, more or less the same pain points. So um, it was kind of, uh, discoverment or something like that when I realized that we had uh, in it doesn't matter the industry we always have the same issues so I always feel, feel felt a bit itchy with the idea of uh, HR departments not being not addressing that um, challenges so um, I went I, I was part of different departments I work in government I work in sports I work in um, construction. I work in very in, in a lot of industries in the HR department, and somehow I ended up in a tech uh, company where I was going to cover only five month um, contract for five months, and I fell in love with technology. So um, I made a switch from HR to projects, and it was amazing amazing journey. I don't want to go back to HR. Uh, yeah, I don't want to go back to the, the um, usual HR. Um, so yeah, I, I, I realized in this last experience that there was a, a way to merge the challenges of the HR departments with the, a solution. And the solution was Dynamics for Human Resources. I started implementing it um, alone in the company um, with the amazing help and support of Malin that 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 was when our relationship started uh, our mentoring and friendship relationship started so um, when I realized all the capabilities of the solution I fell completely in love so and I realized that this solution is something that uh, can make HR life better. So we're going to dive into this and uh, we're going to, uh, you're going to see how and what 
uh, I'm I'm talking about. So I'm an MVP. Uh, Marlene and I were the, the both MVPs for HR. Uh, the only two, so that's a very great achievement. Uh, I'm MVP since December this year, uh, last year. Um, I work as a consultant, Dynamics for Human Resources consultant in an amazing company called For Vision. Um, it's my dream job, so I'm very happy to work with with the company. Um, and yeah, that's a bit about myself and a bit about the path uh, that um, yeah that get me here, got me here. So. Um, there you have my blog. If you want to check the content, it's content in Spanish and English, mainly about HR, sometimes a bit about Teams, sometimes a bit about um, Power Platform, but mostly HR because I'm passionate about it. And uh, yeah, it's all I can talk about. So this is the agenda that we're going to discuss today. We're going to go to a quick introduction about the solution. Uh, we're going to review the goals. Also, we're going to see some modules and key features. Um, I want to share a demo with you because I know that some uh, some of you may not know how the solution works or even how it looks like. So I wanted to um, go and dive together into that. And last point that I kept, I, I, I put it uh, last because I think that is the most important is about the community. So we have a community package at the end. Uh, that I think you will appreciate and you will um, take advantage of if you are willing to learn a bit more about HR. So um, what is it, um, the, the introduction? So this, this solution is a data-driven, people-centric HR solution. Um, and this is one of the things that I love the most because HR departments somehow tend to um, make decisions based on purely uh, intuition sometimes. The funny thing is that in this past year that we've been locked down and with a lot of challenges, the companies has facing, uh, are facing a lot of challenges. The thing is that uh, HR has taken a centric role in this, in this scenario. So they're realizing the importance of uh, taking data-driven uh, decisions. And this is uh, one of the solutions that it's going to support this kind of of decisions. Um, so yeah, it's it's data driven, but also the people is the center of the solution. Um, the idea of the solution is also a workplace where uh, people and business can thrive because some, somehow the standard HR departments. Um, have some issues sorry some someone's knocking at my door but it's okay um we face some issues when when uh hr um has lots of pressure under his shoulders and it doesn't understand as much as the business so it seems to be a separated um department at, at some point where the business goes in one way and HR goes in another way because they are not complementing each other and they don't understand how it works. So, um, yeah. And the nice thing is that we can connect people and ops and operations to optimize and to take care of our employees. So this is uh, some overview and introduction of this um, solution. Uh, of course, the solution is more way much more than this but i just wanted to make sure you uh to share with you with what is all the goals you will find these four goals in all the documentation and all the um commercial sites from hr so we have um we have four goals that are very nice goals i think that when when I just started uh, using and implementing the solution, I realized that this was these four um, challenges were very interesting to address. So first of all, we have the goal for transforming the employee experience, and this includes lots of stuff. Uh, for example, something that you're gonna see today is using Teams as some part of uh, the extended employee experience. Uh, Rafael Pontin is going to talk about that, so that's very nice. It's a very great integration between HR and uh, Teams, uh, a tool that we use every single day. 
So it's a very nice integration. We can also uh, transform the employee experience by providing self-service, not only for the employees, but for the managers as well. So this um, lift a bit of the uh, pressure that HR has under his shoulders. Um, and we can we can like provide the employees and the managers the correct um, solution to manage their, the, the, their own data, but also the um, reporting information. So I think that transform employee experience is a very nice goal, and it's something that HR is not used to. Um, if you ever work with HR or if you ever need to ask something for HR, you know that we are always overloaded of work, spreadsheets, um, lots of paperwork. So willing to transform employee experience is one of the main things that I, I think that they're very well uh, addressed with the solution. The second one is about optimizing and it's about um, optimizing the HR solution. So in this case, uh, what this solution uh, wants to approach is to simplify programs to, for example, leave an absence, benefit management, uh, um, compensation management, all these programs are very easily to work with in this solution. Um, the, other way, the other thing that we can include in here is that the solution can connect with some other other solutions. So for example, if you have a payroll um, system, you can integrate it with. And one of the things that I think is amazing, and it's one of the blogs I've created, and it has more um, uh, views, is about in, uh, optimizing HR solutions uh, with LinkedIn Talent Solution, the LinkedIn Talent Hub. So, um, you all may know that some time ago, um, HR deprecated attracting on board, so everyone was a bit overwhelmed about it. But later, I don't remember exactly the, the time, the, the date, but um, they announced that it were the, the, the uh, integration between LinkedIn Talent Solution and HR. It's, it's uh, something that we could use now to uh, improve the recruitment process. So it's a very nice, net, very nice um, way of optimizing the process. I don't really remember if it's still in public preview. I think it's general availability now, right now. But um, yeah, it's a it's a great, great, great solution to work with. So we can also increase our. Or the, the third goal is to increase. Um, or guess organizational agility. So here we have um, here we have a lot of stuff because we can integrate this solution uh, in case that your HR has a very um, tailored um, processes. You can integrate with other HR partner solutions, and they're they're um, for example the company I work for uh, builds amazing uh, solutions that you can um, integrate with. Um, so so that's something. Um, yeah, in building this increased organizational agility, we can also add the one of the things that is very important for me is the simplify HR admin. So we have, as I told you before, we have HR departments overloaded with data, with um, paperwork, with spreadsheets, Excel spreadsheets, local hosted. So uh, in this, using this approach, using this solution, we're going to be able to uh, um, simplify HR people life. And that's something that I've been there before. I know how overloaded we are. So um, I think that is very nice of uh, this solution. And the last two things inside this, this goal is that we can automate processes. We can do, we can work smarter smarter and that's something uh, that I really appreciate and of course we can always extend it by using some um, other solutions or of course power platform. Um, the last point is about discovering workforce insights and the, this is gold for me. I love this. We can always, uh, we're going to go through the solution and we're going to um, review it. But what I want you to 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 uh, make sure you 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 see when we 
dive into the solution is about the uh, the HR data that is uh, built or shown in BI. So we are going to go to the solution and you're going to see that we have great analytics and we have great um, information uh, very easily to access where we can take uh, decisions based on that. We also can centralize data through Dataverse. Um, we can capture insight with customer voice. So yeah, these four goals are something that I think that are great for this solution. And I just want to make sure you um, you feel as, as happy as I feel when I when I go through this. So with all this said, I think we went through the four of them. We're going to talk about the modules. So I listed here what I think are the best modules. Uh, I'm, a ve I'm very fan of this solution, so I can get easily, um, you know, a bit, um, yeah, I don't know the word, but it doesn't matter. I, I, I'm very happy about this solution. I really love it. So I selected what I think are the best modules to talk about. So for me, one of the things that is most important here is the employee self-service and also the manager self-service. These two sol uh, solutions, these two, um, these two modules are capable of um, providing a very better ex employee experience um, and also simplifying a bit about the HR role. Uh, if you ever work uh, with HR, you know that um, people in HR need, uh, they, they tend to have some uh, trouble addressing easily this, this uh, challenges where, for example, you want to ask for something or you want a copy of something you're in your record and it can take a week. So using this solution, uh, it's just a matter of just using it properly and accessing the correct information in the correct moment. So employee self-service for me is one of the best modules ever. Personal management is something that as an HR person uh, will provide you a lot of information and you can see all in once. And that is very nice. Uh, it's all together in one in one place <coughs> about <coughs> all the employees. Well, we have these other three that come uh, below, leave and absence, benefits management and comp management. These are three things that I, I, I really appreciate. I think there are great uh, modules to work with. Um, of course, this uh, despite the first one, all of them are about uh, HR role. The HR role is going to use them. So we have employee development. That's one of the things that I really, really like also because we can see how the company is, how the employees are doing what they need to increase or uh, to increase the level or to get better at some point. And the last one is Orgadmin. This uh, module help, helps us to build the structure of our company. And one of the things that is very interesting that there we can build everything. That if, if we're going to implement HR, Orgadmin and personal management are the two modules that we're going to address first. Um, I'm not talking about system uh, configuration, but I'm talking about the, the, the structure that we're going to build for our own company. So yeah, this is, these are the first two that we're going to, um, to build. Um, with all this said, what I want to show you uh, is, I call it demo, but I'm not sure it should be called that way. Um, I want to show you the the, I will share my other screen. Give me a second. But I want to show you here my. Um, this is my a, a trial environment that I have, <clears throat> and what I wanted to share with you is how this solution looks like. So um, this is the main dashboard. Once you're logged in into the system, you can access this and it's a great, I think it's very easily to access. If you have any work item assigned, you can see it here, the same with the to-do list. Uh, you can see that, of course, this calendar and you can see the modules in here, but as well, if you open here, you can see all them listed. So um, 
of course, this is all you can personalize the experience, change the colors, and all that stuff that you can do in Dynamics. So, what I want, where I want to go now, is to employee self service. And I want to show you how easy it is for me as an employee um, to see everything related with my information. I want to make a, a point here uh, and just tell you that um, I'm using the sysadmin role. So the fact that, that I'm using all that I'm seeing all these modules is related with uh, the role that I have assigned in this system. But I can have uh, only the employees of service uh, enabled for me, and that's how the employees are going to see the solution. So here, we, where we can see in this in this tab is about all the information uh, for this employee. In this case, I'm a marketing executive. This is a trial environment that you can uh, you can always um, deploy one if you want to. So here I can see my career information, the time of balances. I can see tasks if I if I had assigned tasks. I could see um, everything related with course and certificates. This is a very important thing. This is connected with um, this is connected with employee development, and we can see uh, the past reviews. We can see our next review. Uh, we can add a new review. Um, same happens with performance goals, skills. We can have skills, for example, added to our um, profile, a worker profile. We can see our compensation. This is blocked here, but we can. Uh, this is reloaded and we have our uh, compensation. We can add attachments and this is very fun. This, for me, this is very helpful. Uh, somehow, one of my, uh, my experiences in HR was having uh, lots of uh, papers for every single uh, employee um, with lots of, I don't know, uh, resume and stuff, lots of stuff, screening tests and so on. So we can add uh, attachments here and make the easier the life easier for everyone. And the fun thing here is that we can auto manage this space. So me, uh, Ana Ines Rudia, as a marketing executive, I could be working uh, and making sure everything here is correct. Same happens with this additional information. Uh, we can access a lot of the, of, of places here. We can access, for example, benefits. We have a double. We can access performance, competence, competences, um, organ, uh, organization, questions, a lot of information. So the fun thing is that we have, it's like a very easy way to manage our own, um, our own uh, record, record. So for example, let's go to total skills. And here what we can see is the total skills that we have we have, um, for example, marketing, public speaking, strategy, trends, and all that. We can add the type, the level, uh, the, and this is all you can you can customize this in the back. You have the the name for the level, the date, and the years of experience. And sometimes you can add an examiners if someone is making sure you really had that skill. So. One of the questions that we have some, sometimes it's okay. Some of these um, boxes that I'm seeing here they don't apply for my for my um, company. So that we we always have the chance to hide some of these tiles um, by security configuration. Um, so let's imagine that you don't have, for example, you don't want that uh, employees add attachments, you can always hide it. And that's very, very, um, very easy to do. So this is all about the employee self-service. The fun thing about this is that HR is uh, it's nothing, it's, it's all on employees' hands. So that's very, um, very nice and very easy for us to work with. In this case, um, my worker, um, Anna Ines, has uh, re reports. She she has a team, so I can I also uh, have this other uh, tab here that you can see in the top that is called my team. In this case, and this is this is I get easily happy with this. This is a very simple way to manage people. So as you can see here, um, 
my worker, Ana Inés, has three, four reports. And uh, what I can see here is all the information related with the three reports. So, for example, uh, I have Benjamin Martin. Benjamin Martin uh, has also a team, so I can see the team. And I can see all the information of the reports of my report. So this is very, very, I think that is a very easy, is a very easy way to see what is going on in my team and my, I'm my, my team's team. So um, here you can see everything related to position. Um, you can also see the compensation of the, of the employees. You can see, for example, here you have all the information that how many years in this position, um, the seniority date, the role of course, name, some easy uh, access information about um, birth date, for example. We can see the compensation. We can see uh, the compensation for all the workers. We can also see the leave and absence. And remember, this is the report of Benjamin Martin. So I, I as a manager, I can see what is going on uh, with the team uh, of this uh, report that I have. So we don't have any requests made for our uh, reports. Um, so we're not seeing anything there. Do we have a performance goal? Uh, it, it seems like Benjamin Martin is not as well manager as I thought because he didn't have any performance review with our only one um, with the reports. But anyway, and we can also see the reviews. Um, one thing that is very interesting of this uh, of this solution, and I think that it, it's it's very um, it's very fun, is this that you're seeing their related links. This is the custom uh, links that you can add in this uh, monitor soft service to uh, if you want to or if you have any personalized uh, links that you want the, the managers to access. You can do that uh, by adding them into this um, into this space workspace. Um, there's a blog in one of the latest blog that I that I create it talks about this, and uh, you can see that I'm uh, addicted to the emojis, so I'm using them a lot for all of my entries. So let's go back to me. Okay. OK, so I can see everything here. The same thing that I could see for my um, for reports of Benjamin, I can see them for, for my, my direct team. So um, here we have details and we have some other uh, information. For example, one of the things that I really like is the time off. Um, we can see here what is going on with the time off of Benjamin Martin. We can see the balances. Um, this will take a while for a load, and there you go. Uh, we can see the pro time off, and we can also see the time of requests. So we can always manage, um, and uh, we can review what's going on with this leave request for this employee. So, um, yeah, this is a very nice way to manage people. I never saw in HR, working in HR departments before, something as um, user friendly or as uh, nice to work with. Um, so I think that is a very a great way to empower managers and employees uh, to go and complete their information, work with HR. Um, I remember uh, when I worked in HR, we had people that requested leave and we, were, and we spent uh, a week with that request pending. Uh, with this solution, you can request it today, or not today because it's Sunday, but tomorrow, Monday, and you can have it approved by Monday. So this is a very simple way to uh, optimize HR processes and work with uh, um, smarter. Um, I love this this word that uh, work work smarter. So yes, this is all about um, my team. Here we have some other uh, amazing um, solutions that we can use. We can use a skill gap analysis. I have a blog post about that also. Uh, we can see if we have any pending time of request. We can see it here. So it's a very easy and intuitive uh, way of working with a team. Okay, 
we have this. I wanted to share with you also the personal management one. This is one solution and one uh, solution that we're going to use with. Um, we're going to use as HR people. So here you can see what is currently going on in my in this legal entity um, related to employees. So here we can see that we have some candidates to hire some people. We don't have anyone anything here yet. But if someone was leaving the company or recently hired, we can see all here in one simple tab. You can see all that. So I think that this is uh, this is very nice. We have have a list of employees where we can see um, all the names and the numbers and the information about them. So this is very, very nice. Um, and we can also scroll in the, in the top of uh, the upper tab and see all the information that we can uh, edit or add for this or only or, or view for this um, for the employee. So in this case, uh, one of the things that I really want to share with you, and I think that they're one of the hidden genes of this uh, of this solution is this analytics tab that um, I think for me is it was a one way ticket <laughs> uh, because I, I saw it and I fall in love. This will give you this will give us the information that we need about our current employees and what's going on. It takes a little bit to load, but it's worth it <clears throat> because it can give us um, a lot of information and insights related to employees. Um, let's see how it loads. And here we're gonna have a lot of information. As you can see, we can have here in the, um, in uh, in the in the bottom we have a lot of information about um we have a lot of tabs and we can select them and the power bi will be changing but this is a very great information um we can have as many information as we can and the fun thing is that we can really take decisions based on evidence based on data based on information and not know how we feel about the situation so that's something that is very uh, important. So let's see, for example, um, uh, let's see people by department. And here we can see, for example, that our retail uh, operations is one of the most um, populated uh, departments. We have the same with client services and here we, we go. Um, we don't have anyone in uh, merchandising. So yeah, and the key for having great insights or build up to see great information here is to use properly the solution and be aware of completing as much information information as you can. As you can see here, I have an, a department that's called blank. This is this is a mistake. Um, this is a mistake. We shouldn't have that. We should have we should use properly the solution to have great insights. So we have lots of this. We have uh, Let's 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 no, I like this one. Workforce demographics. So we have here, for example, all separated about age and gender, department, veteran status, marital status. We have ethnic background. Uh, this is the great. This is numbers. This is information we can use in our advantage. So um, once again, this information will depend, of course, of how well we use the solution. But I think. Uh, this is great. And the fun thing about this analytic report is that we can find them in a lot of the modules. So for example, the next one that I want to, sh to show you is, um, doo -doo -doo. let's go to leave an absence. This will provide us <coughs> the insights about uh, leave. <coughs> and, um, for, for HR departments, being able to see all this in once is a very uh, great way to, to, to work with. Okay, so yeah, this, it was obvious that this was gonna happen, but it doesn't matter. Um, 
we're going to go to the last module that I will want to share with you. This is called the Orgadmin. Um, and this is one of the things that I really love about the solution. So when we first start implementing one of the first things that we need to build is our legal entities uh, and our organization uh, structure. So in this case, we have, for example, we have multiple legal entities. This is a defaulted environment with uh, data that Microsoft provide me. So you can see Contoso all over. Um, and here we have a lot of information about uh, this legal entity. Um, where is it? The language that we're going to use. In this case, for example, I added a dashboard, so it's very easy to change. Uh, you can add a banner logo, you can have a defaulted image, um, and you can set all the information related to your legal entity. Um, and that is that is that is very nice. Uh, this this happens. This this you're gonna use this in case you have, of course, more than one legal entity for your company. That's usually how it what it ha what happens. Um, after you, we set these legal entities, we can set the departments. So here you can see how they work, uh, what information we need. For me, I find it very easy to work with. Uh, the, uh, the user experience, it's, it's better uh, than it was maybe a year and a half ago. So I really like it. Uh, we can also set the department hierarchy uh, and we can see how this, um, this hierarchy works. Um, once we, we created this too, we are going to create jobs. This is a very easy confusion, a very, very common confusion that we have, the relationship between jobs and position. I recommend you 100% to review Malin, a blog post about it, um, because it's very, it's very simple and very clear uh, with lots of graphic information you, you, will, you will take advantage of. So here we have overall job lists. All, all of our, our um, shop um, in this legal entity. And finally, once we we done all this, I'm skipping some of the process, of course, but <clears throat> once we, we reach this, all this level of um, competition, we can see the positions that we have. So here we have all the information about the positions and of course is the position is filled we have we're going to see the worker and if we oh no i thought we had something but we don't have it here but anyway this is how we uh, structure our company um and there and then one of the things that we have i'm, I'm obsessed with hierarchy so here we can see how is the structure of this company uh, who reports to who and uh, for example if I want to go to Tim Litton we can see that he reports to Charlie and Charlie works for the organization let's go to another person and try for example let's go with let's go with Claire And Claire has re Claire is the director of HR, so she has lots of people depending on her. Um, and here we can see all of them. Um, this is a line hierarchy. We can also have some custom. We ha we could have a matrix and a project. So this is a very nice uh, way of seeing how this company is structured. Um, but yes. I, I, I think that this is this is uh, one of my favorite modules and personal management, of course. Uh, before we drop this demo section, what I want to talk with you, what I want to share with you is this um, analytics information, analytic, analytics field for employee development. So this, it's taking the information for, from ESS and MSS, Employee Self Service and Managed Self Service, and of course the personal management if we added some skills or some um, information for the um, employees. So here we can see the skills in our company, the level. Um, we can see the level uh, by type and skill. We can see also the employee analysis. I think this is great. We can see, for example, um, the type, the detail of skill. Who is the one that is having this, uh, that, that has this skill? Um, so one of the things that I I I think um, is great for the solution is we have a skill gap analysis that can helps us 
to um, compare a desired profile with the internal um, HR, internal people that we have. So let's imagine that you have uh, someone that is leaving and you don't have enough, but enough budget to uh, hire a new person. So what you can do is to compare the skill set of this person that is leaving and um, with the inner workforce that you have. And in that case, what is going to happen is that you can uh, transfer an employee, existing employee, into another department without any other costs um, compared to if you, if you um, hire a new person. So this is the employee development. We can see uh, everything related to skills and details. You have skill profiles, so we can uh, check uh, and we can see the, the skills. Yeah, of course, of course, he doesn't have any, but um, we can see the details of every uh, of every employee we tick. So in this case, you can see that I have all these um, skills, description, type, and level. So this is very easy to use. And here we have the details. This is, once again, this is something that is wrong and we shouldn't uh, have here, but it doesn't matter. We have it every, anyway. Um, and here we can see the details. Hello, I have an issue with my, um, are, can you listen to me? Hello? Okay, great, thank you. Uh, sorry, I have an issue with my computer and, um, something going on with the memory and well uh yeah so i am i am i continue sharing my screen i think you can see it now but um we went through the demo and uh this is so uh what i want to review with you in this in this last minute is the key features we have um give me a second there you go so we have this solution is highly flexible. We it's made to extend our HR needs or HR needs for our clients. We can uh, help them to. We can also connect this solution with other partner solutions, and we can extend it with Microsoft Power Platform. The session that is coming after this one is about this, for example, and we also have connected with Microsoft Teams and with Raphael. So that's gonna be great. Um, so. When I say that this is a solution designed to extend the HR needs, it's about uh, understanding the pain points that HR have, as for example, people um, unable to access HR policies uh, from remote locations or um, providing visibility uh, for HR programs, um, uh, for example, or maybe not adapting to quick change of business priorities or um, also trying to find, uh, um, yeah, or, or let's, let's leave it there. So um, I think that it's a very flexible solution and it's a very nice uh, option to suggest when we're working with a child department that want to um, fulfill their needs. So I really, I highly recommend that. And I think it's a great, uh, great, great solution. Um, 
we see we saw in this demo uh, that is a connected HR solution that helps us empower people with uh, uh, employees of service. So as I told you before, and uh, HR has lots of pressure under their shoulders. And when we give some power to the employees and managers, we can release a bit of that pressure and we can help them um, to also be owners of their or of their own um, information. So that's great. We have, uh, for example, the we have a feature that is called, um, I don't remember the name of the feature, but it's um, about submitting time off via M Microsoft Teams. So what you saw before in the, what you saw before in this, in this amazing um, employee of service that I show you, module that I show you, uh, we can use that, um, we can use Teams to help um, submit time off for employees, so that is great. Um, and also we have interconnected HR and operational data. We have leave and absent connected benefits, for example. Um, and the last point is the actionable insights that we have. We have a lot, a lot of work for intelligence uh, built in, and we can see a lot of information there. We ensure uh, compliance with regulations. We can have all in one place, and it's very easy to accomplish, uh, to use uh, for compliance purposes. And of course, we can enable HR with next best action guidance. So um, this is all about the solution. Um, this is all about um, how how we can we can uh, take advantage of it and use it as a great tool for HR and also for um, employees. So I th I think I said HR a lot of times today, but I don't regret it anyway. Um, we're going to go to the next slide, and this is the face you already seen here. So um, <laughs> for me and closing this chapter, uh, what I wanted to share with you is that um, I might get a bit emotional here, but I am really happy about the community that we have uh, uh, looking after everyone and helping each other. So as we talked a few uh, minutes ago with Malin and Thomas, and as I talk with I think it, almost every day with a lot of people, um, we have a great community community that is supporting everyone and is helping to um, achieve what we what we want to achieve. So I started working uh, in HR and I have lots of doubts, and I I had the chance to uh, start working and and working no but exchanging with Marlene. So she helped me a lot through this process. So I always recommend to go through that. Uh, there you have all the information about, um, you can find it on Twitter, uh, she has his own, her own blog, spot, blog, and you can find it also in LinkedIn. Uh, she has amazing uh, blog posts about HR and also about marketing and also about Power Platform. So in case you have any doubt, uh, you can go through her. And also you, ha you have there the Dynamics community, so if you want to uh, scan this QR, you are going to go. Uh, re you're going to go to the Dynamics community, uh, my official community from Microsoft. So um, we have lots of of people that is starting to talk about HR. We have lots of people that are talking about integration, and that's something that we're going to have today. We already have it with Alan and Thomas, and we're going to have it a bit later uh, with another uh, HR Dynamics app. So it's going to be great. I'm really happy that we we are um, able to see more HR sessions uh, on tracks. I I don't think I've ever seen this many sessions uh, together about HR. I'm very happy with that. Um, and I also know that the interest of the it's a very tiny uh, public that wants to hear about this. So thank you for being there. Um, but yeah, I recommend you to go to this Dynamics community and also to Malin Blog. She's amazing. She she shares a lot of information and uh, she's been blogging for a while. So you are going to find a lot of information there. Um, she's my mentor and my friend. And I'm very happy to uh, share all this path with her. So um, the last thing that I wanted to uh, say is thank you, of course. Uh, I know I talk a lot and this may not be the uh technical challenging session that we had before or that we that we had in this all these days so uh, i'm if 
you stayed there and if you listen to this session, I'm really happy. My my goal under um, after all this all this information is to um, advocate and to uh, spread the world around this amazing solution that I know no um, that is not as well known as it should be. So I'm advocating for that and I'm uh, trying to uh, spread the love I feel with this solution. So in case uh, you have any doubt or you want to discuss or you have any question, uh, you can see all the information there. We have a Dynamics Human Resources Worldwide UG that we run with Molin. So you can you can look for that. Uh, we're in Meetup. Uh, you can look for, for us. There you have also my blog, my LinkedIn account, my Twitter. If you scan the QR, you're going to find there my, I think, my blog. Um, as you saw in this session, I'm not technical. I'm a psychologist that uh, on a career switcher, I went through a chart to projects. So I'm very happy with that. So I'm not that technical. There's a lot of amazing people uh, with great uh, technical background that I can recommend you to go with. So um, I think this is all for me. Uh, I Once again, I want to say thank you to you all for staying there and to listen to my English, <laughs> uh, my, yeah, my, my session. So I don't know, um, I don't think that there are any questions, but um, this is all for me. I think we have a few minutes for, uh, to wait for the next session. Thank you once again, Anna. Um, and again, thank you, Malene and Thomas, um, for doing some amazing efforts around HR, which is often ignored and has been a controversial issue to many. Um, so again, thank you for being the ones to plug that gap in the community and, and really revitalize it, because at the end of the day, it's, it's you guys that are doing that effort. So uh, again, thank you, all of you, you know, um, Anna, um, and Malene, I know Malene obviously um, is, is a legend in HR and, and Thomas as well. Um, so thank you all for all your efforts around HR and, and, for, and, and make sure you connect with them. I know often in, in our previous events on FinOps, uh, HR was often a, a controversial topic and not really many people could really address it. So it's really, really good to have you guys uh, be able to plug that gap once again. So please don't underestimate the value you provide to the community. Um, you know, it, it really is valued, um, Anna. So yeah, so so I know Ludwig is um, had some uh, preparations um, to you know uh, be able to support you with any questions and answers. And uh, I know there aren't really much questions and answers. I think we should just use these next few minutes. Um, on the HR track, which obviously you're leading on, uh, to, and you've helped with a lot uh, for the organisation, Anna. Uh, I was wondering, maybe we could use the next few minutes to really um, use as an opportunity to to understand what are people's challenges on HR, um, what things people would like us to address more of in HR, so that we could um, at least start tackling them and start talking about them. Uh, does anybody have any ideas? Do you want to share that in the chat? Would you like to raise your hand? Don't be shy. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have a someone raised. I'm uh, just reading through the um, comments. Obviously, there's a lot of uh, big uh, thank yous from Manish and Aleem um, for the sessions. I know it's been a long three days for everyone. Uh, we've whittled <laughs> down our attendees now. Uh, so uh, we've got the last leg of, of the people you're still hanging on to the end um so uh, well done guys um and i hope you're all enjoying and downloading all this knowledge um for hr uh on, on the last leg of, of of the event really 
So it's a perfect opportunity to really brush up your knowledge on HR and see the art of the possible with these upcoming sessions. Um, Anna, do you have any other comments? No, I just wanted to say that uh, I'm very happy to see that we have a, a lot of HR sessions today. Uh, that is very nice. That's something that we're not used to see. Um, I, I, I think I've never seen that amount of sessions before. So I'm very happy and I'm very pleased to listen to all the uh, upcoming uh, and past sessions. Um, it's a tiny world. Uh, it's HR is a tiny world. Uh, we have uh, limited um, people. There, there, it's something that not everyone um, knows about, and we have some other solutions out there that are um, solid. So we we are not um, a a big crowd of people uh, doing this. But anyway, I think that it's very nice that somehow we start to uh, gain a bit more of uh, protagonism, and we're just uh, sharing and and also the the these sessions that we have today. Um, it's not only about overview about the solution; it's about integrating it with other uh, apps and power platforms. So um, I, I really encourage you all to um, end this day uh, getting to know how we can make a chart better, because I'm sure we can do it. So. Uh, that's my comment. Um, for it. Thanks for that, Anna. So next up, Anna, who do we have? So the next speaker is Kamal. He's going to talk about um, HR and Power BI tool agents. I think that that is something very nice. That this uh, is an is a great um, is a great Great opportunity to build more, um, build a great experience for employees and for um, companies. So I think that that will be a great session. We still have a few minutes um, before the session start, but uh, yeah, I, I think that this will be a great session. And we also have the one uh, that Raphael is going to share. That's going to be great, also. So that is that is coming next.